Hey guys, welcome to our station. We are going through this fabulous, elegant design on a flock tree today. I can't wait for you to see it. We're breaking it down using our four simple steps. Anybody can do it, even you. Let's get started. I'm jumping into the first layer, which is my topper, and I'm gonna teach you one of my tricks. So when I'm working with a client, we're in the store and we're pulling together pieces for our topper. If you hold one of everything up in your hand, it's going to give you a good visual of what it's going to look like in the tree. So we try to choose, you know, anywhere from four to five different styles. You want to find styles with height. Um, like I love pieces like this. It's just good airy texture. And then again, you want different textures too. So if you look here, we've got a leaf, we've got these tall sticks, we've got berries. So it's a good mix of textures and not everything's the same color too. If everything was silver, it would just look like a big silver blob on the top of my tree. So we wanna bring in the white that's gonna break it up. And I'm gonna jump on my ladder now and we're gonna start putting these styles at the top of the tree. I do like to start with my bulkiest piece. <laughs> so for this design, I mean, you can see this is a good size spray, um, but it's really gonna bring some nice texture into the top of the tree. So we're gonna run that stem straight along the pole. I'm gonna add um, a few of each of these styles, so about two to three on the seven and a half foot tree. And then, you know, go up from there. If you have a nine foot tree, I'd recommend at least three of each style. And then 12 foot tree, you're gonna want five or six of each style. Okay, now since these are so big, let's like really open those up. I just love this. It looks like a really cool tree but it's blinged out, which is awesome. So we're gonna run that down. This is a long, long stem, so we're gonna push that down quite a bit. And then for my first few sprays, I'm gonna use the branches of the greenery itself. I'm twisting it in to give it some extra support. You know, I get this question a lot of, do I need to wire it in? No, I've never used wire in my topper. Usually the trees itself is enough to give it support. You're not going to need to twist in every spray, just some of these first ones. So I'm doing the same thing here with the second one, but I'm coming to the other side of the tree to do that. Okay, and I'm alternating colors. So since I used silver first, my next one's going to be this white berry. And same thing, we're just kind of putting these between the ones that are placed. Let's go straight down and pull these individual stems out. Just wrapping that in for a little extra support. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put, I'm gonna place all the ones on this side and then I'll jump over to the other side. So since I've gone silver white, I'm coming in with this leaf next. Um, like I said, I like a good mix of textures. A flat piece in your topper is a great way to go with the berry and then something like tall and wispy. This one's really long too. I went with some like very big stems this time, but I think we're gonna love the texture. If not, we can always change it. <laughs> That's pretty fun actually. So I kind of went down at an angle. These stems, like they're all wired, so you can kind of bend them to get the placement. And if you don't like it sticking out that much, just push it further into the tree. All right, this topper is so wild, but like I'm kind of digging it. It's got a lot of texture going on. So next thing we're gonna do, we wanna cap off the topper with a few different florals. So I have this beautiful gray, um, kind of sheer one, and then the fur, fur is so fun. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna offset a little bit because I need a pocket for my ribbon. And then I'm gonna run these straight down to conceal the stems. And then this gives me kind of the transition into the body of the tree. Now something else that's gonna be fun, I have some of these long, like dripping kind of icicle shapes. They're gorgeous, they have jewels on them. I mean, they are be dazzled. Um, these are such thick stems that I can use some of the stems itself to hold some of these icicle shapes. So see how gorgeous that is? So I'm gonna hold on to like maybe three of these. I'll do kind of one in here, one in here, maybe one on that side. I'm gonna do that last because I don't want anything to happen to this while I'm decorating the tree. Moving on to step two, which is my ribbon. Y'all know my ribbon obsession, and guys, this does not disappoint. It's so good. Um, it's so glam and elegant, but we're gonna use this Let It Snow. That's gonna be our main ribbon in our body. 
I have four rolls. These are five yard rolls for the seven and a half foot tree. And then I will be pairing this with just a great glitter mesh. So a lot of times you'll see me use kind of a textural pattern or just a solid velvet as my second layer. This is supporting the first layer. So it's basically, we're just gonna get little peaks of it. We're gonna get that glitter. It's gonna pick up the lights and it's gonna look so pretty. This is a 10 yard roll. We're only using two of these um, because it's double the length of the other one. And then guys, this is my favorite, it's so good. This is just a bedazzled, jeweled, look at all the embellishment on that, so stunning. This is gonna be our accent ribbon. Because this is a pricier roll, I'm using less of it. So I'm using 10 yards total. These are five yard rolls. So we'll just have little pops of this here and there to kind of elevate the look, but without having to use a ton of it. All right, I'm layering my two ribbons for the body. So we're basically working with them as if it's one piece. So they're gonna be on top of each other. I think for this one, what I'm thinking is maybe I'll start with like a one loop uh, and then kind of billow into the next part. The right way to do the ribbon is the way that you do your ribbon. And basically what I mean by that, like there is no right or wrong way. It's whatever feels right to you. And guess what? If we place it and we don't like the placement, just take it off and start over. So if you've watched my videos, every tree, the ribbon's just a little bit different um, because I'm doing what feels right. And if I like it, then it's great. So let's go ahead and fold it, kind of leaving that all together, the let it snow. And then we're gonna go into a loop. So I'm just gonna, I'm kind of pleating it is what I'm doing. And then I want to twist that forward. See? And then we're just gonna tuck that in here at the base. Okay, so let me talk to you about what I've done so far. So we've got the loop. Guys, see, this is wired. So I've kind of got a nice little bend in there just to give it a decorative detail. And then we're gonna come into like a swoop here and I'll just pinch that. We're gonna use the greenery to hold it in place. And then I think I'll cut kind of between the two let it snows. All right, so let's come in with another continuation. I'm gonna pinch it between the two uh, let it snow phrases. I think I'll do like maybe one loop and a twist. Gosh, y'all, I love this ribbon, it's so yummy. Um, all of this is found at decoratorswarehouse.com. We have a retail store in Arlington. If you haven't been there, we hope that you can come visit us. We've got 60,000 square feet of just everything Christmas, ribbon, flowers, you name it, we probably have it. This is our bundle package. So if you like uh, what we're doing, all of the ribbon, flowers, ornaments can be found online too. As a full package, we send it to you. You have the video to show you how to put it together. Makes it so simple. A lot of businesses love these because they're great for your lobbies or reception areas. Our designers love them too. Just a really simple package to make your holiday decorating easy. Okay, y'all see this? <laughs> This was what was left on the end of my roll. Nothing goes to waste ever. So we can literally just tuck this somewhere, anywhere, because it's cute and we don't want to waste it. <laughs> My ribbon's placed, I'm moving into my third layer, which is my floral and spray layer, and I'm gonna start by creating a floral cluster. Just what it sounds like, it's a cluster of florals and sprays. And I'm using some of the pieces from the topper. I've got this long silver stem and the berry. And I basically wanna lay those together, so I'm kind of marrying them together. Um, if we're worried about the length, I would place this down a little bit further. And then I'm gonna come in with a couple different florals. I have that sheer that we used in the topper. Lay that there and angle up. So these are a little long, but I do think it's gonna give us a nice texture when we put it into the tree. And then I'm gonna come in with my furry one, which I love. So cute. And that's gonna kind of come up and out and then use the branch. Ugh. Gotta get in there <laughs> and wrap it around. And then we're gonna just 
kind of fix that. Okay, and then when I go to place these on the tree, I want to run the stems up so this is cascading down. And we'll do this kind of zigzagging through the tree. We want to get good coverage, so if my first one's here, my next one will probably be kind of more in this area. And then wrap some of the greenery around the stems again to hold it in place. I have seven of these for my seven and a half foot trees. I'm gonna go ahead and place all seven. Also, if you feel like some of these are too long, you can kind of bend up and tuck them in so they're not coming out quite as much. Just giving you texture. Okay, all my clusters are placed. This is so fun, love the fur. Um, but now we're coming in with some single stem flowers. This magnolia is out of this world. So it's got a nice like beaded leaf and some sheer texture. And then this one's really pretty. It's just a really nice true white with um, some sequin edging. So I have seven of each of these. I'm using the tree size as my multiplier. So since it's a seven and a half foot tree, sevens is kind of a great way to go if you want um, kind of a middle coverage. Okay, I'm not doing the little strip in the back, so this is probably like a three quarters view. If I did want more, then you can start at seven and then go up maybe nine, maybe 12 if you like it super full. But basically I'm gonna place these kind of in between my clusters, zigzagging through the tree. So I'm gonna put this one up here. Oh yeah, that's super pretty. And then maybe come down here. So, and I'll just work going through like this. And actually I was wrong. I did do five of this one. It is a bigger size, so I don't need quite as many of this one. All right, and now I'm gonna add in my single stem fillers. This is where all the dimension and texture, all this kind of like wispy airiness that we love so much is gonna come into play. So I had my two floral stems. I have four spray styles. So let me show you what they look like. I've got my dewberry great stem. We have this in tons of colors, but it opens up really nice and airy. This one, which I showed y'all in the topper, just love it. Because we are using some icicles in this design, this is gonna give us a nice, good, strong support to hang some of those beyond the branches of the tree. So can't wait to see what that looks like in there. And then this one's just a really fun, pretty um, iced berry and then a good leaf. Again, a good range of textures, berries, leaves, wispy. We've got everything going on. So I wanna start with this one just so I can kind of show you how I'm placing it. Again, we're gonna run up. This is a long stem. You could cut it, you could bend it. You might not even need to bend it, um, but we're gonna run it up. So let's find a good spot. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> and then let's like pull some of this up here. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and place all of those in a zigzag and then I'll go behind and fill in with the rest of my floral stems. Okay, all my floral is placed. Love it, love it, love it. This is such an elegant design. We're gonna move into our fourth step, which is our ornaments. And we're gonna use a variety of different textures, different sizes to fill in the remaining holes on this tree. So I've got my Shatterproof. Shatterproof's a staple. I use it in basically every design. These are my favorite this year, the big jewels. They're so fabulous. They look like diamonds, you know, girl's best friend. And then we've got these fun like ice balls. This one's really pretty too. It's got like a silver stripe through it. It's clear with some texture and then a pretty hobnail. And then the last style, I just love these. I showed them to you at the beginning because we're gonna put a few up in the topper. And then I also wanna add, you know, just a few through the tree. I have six total. Um, you might want a little more if you love the bling, but I think they're so pretty. They're really gonna pick up the light too. Okay, and I'm starting with my biggest ornaments first. So I'm gonna place all my Shatterproof and my jewels and then I'll fill in with the rest. You can use the strings that come with the Shatterproof. Sometimes I just shove them in there because they're going deeper into the tree. Um, or you could use a little floral wire as well. So those are filling any holes that are close to the pole of the tree. And 
And let me show you my little ornament trick. It kind of blew my mind. I just assumed everyone knew this, but we posted it on our Instagram. And y'all, we had like millions of views. So it tells me that this isn't fully known. Um, but what we're gonna do to hang the ornament, we wanna like put this string around the branch. And then you're gonna grasp it with your finger and wrap it around. So what it's doing is it's putting that like close to the branch so that you don't see all the string. Then you can like bend this up or you can tie it up just to get the placement that you want. And then you don't see all that string. I can tell I'm getting like more and more glitter by the second <laughs> I see it out of the corner of my eye. Um, but we're going into the last little part of our tree, which is this beautiful embellished ribbon. It's gonna be our accent. And like I said earlier, there's no right or wrong way to do ribbon. So if I think I'm gonna like it and I like it, then that's great. If I put it on and I don't like it, I can always change the placement. But what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna create a tail and a loop. And then I think I'm gonna do a two loop bow on this. And then my thought here is I think I'm gonna weave some of these into some of these loops that I already have. I'm gonna actually open this branch back up and lay this right on top of it and then secure it using the same branch. So this is actually gonna make it look like a bigger bow. And it, you know, maybe my intuition told me I would like that and I didn't, no big deal, just pull it out. And then I think I'm gonna come down just a little bit here, tuck it in use the branch to hold that in place, and then I will cut a tail. So I have 10 yards of this accent ribbon. I'm just gonna kind of look for some holes. Um, another accent I can do, this is the easiest one. So if ribbon scares you, this is a great way to start. Um, but basically just make a tail. It's just one piece of ribbon, one strip. I can kind of pleat it in the middle. This is called a bow tie. See how cute that is? That's so simple. And then I could just lay that right on top. Isn't that adorable? And so easy. I think right here I might do a one loop bow. So that's just a tail, a loop, and another tail. I can cut that here. I'll lay that into the branches, secure it. And sometimes if I want to make it longer, like if I feel like I have a good branch below it, I'll just billow it so I'm running my hand and then I'll go down one row of branches and secure it before cutting. Super cute. And then again, this was all that was left on my roll. Never waste it, so I'll just do another one of those bow ties. Pop it in down here. Okay, the last little thing I have to do, these beautiful crystal ornaments with the jewels, I wanna hang a few from the topper um, and I want them to extend beyond the tree. So I'm gonna use these heavier branches to support them. And I'll just slip that over and let it hang. So I think I'll do one kind of there, maybe one in this area and one over there. And then I have a few that I'm gonna work through the tree. And then for the ones that are in the tree, if I don't want the string to show, I'm just gonna use that little trick I showed you earlier. I'll push it down and then I'm holding it and I'm wrapping it around. So that's gonna hold it close to the branch. But I love that because it's extended beyond. And then I have one more that I'm gonna place kind of over in this area. When I got down on the ground to look at everything, I wasn't crazy about the placement of this. so. Uh, this is all part of the decorating process. If you don't like something and you're eyeballing it, just change it. So I've got it kind of up more too so they're not all on the same plane. All right, guys, comment below what you think of this design. I'm loving the look. It's so elegant. And I just want to remind you, decorating is all about you. Um, do what makes you happy, whether you like a very full decked out tree or maybe you just like elements of this design. 
Um, it should reflect you in your own home. So with that said, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and happy decorating. Be sure to hit subscribe and then hop on over to decoratorswarehouse.com to see all the items represented here today.